Yes, yeah. so, 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 yeah. we'll go on the we'll go on the balcony because it's nice weather. Yes. yes. Okay, is. so you don't take your shoes off because you get splinters in your feet. <laughs> All right. Don't worry. Go through to the balcony. I'll see if I can see a copy where my one of my copies got put down. Ah, oh, here we go. That'll do. Have a seat. Thank you. Right, well, what was it you wanted to know? Actually, you know, we belong to an English speaking community. Well, I can hear that you're speaking English, but you have a kind of accent. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Russian? We are Polish. We are Polish. You're Polish? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So you prefer to speak, uh, you prefer to speak English? Yes, we, because of the needs here actually, you know, in Warsaw, because we know that there are many foreigners, yes. Yeah, but then the, the, they know more Bible than the, than the Poles do. Sorry? But the foreigners know more Bible than the Poles do. Mm -hmm. It is possible. <laughs> we don't claim we, we know the Bible the best way, uh -huh. yeah. Um, but we actually help people to understand uh, the Bible. And do you? this is our... Um, yeah, it could be um, our uh, common ground, yeah? Okay. Well, I help people to read the Bible and to think about it. Oh, that's interesting. So, uh, the, the best thing is to, is to read the Bible prayerfully mm -hmm. and ask God mm -hmm. what to understand from the Bible. Mm -hmm. Okay? This is very rare nowadays. So yes, very, very, very rare. There's no real trust in the Bible. Mm -hmm. um, this, is the, this is the Word of God. Exactly. And uh, you can trust God to be able to speak through the Bible without other aids. So, for example, magazines and publications. George, this is not the best time for this, you understand. <laughs> but but um, magazines and publications, which sort of put, portion out the Word of God and which are sort of like centrally produced so that everybody has the same view on the Word of God are not are not appropriate. God leads people through his word in varying ways, in varying ways, um, and to have interpretation of the word of God put through an, an organization is not the way in which God ordained it. God ordained it so that we would receive the Bible. You know how the Bible came to us and how pretty much miraculously through centuries it's been maintained and, and saved even so that the languages in which the Bible were written, um, although the Jews, for example, were a small nation amongst many big nations, and, um, and um, you know, they, they lived amongst people like Hittites. You, don't, you, you, know, you can't speak Hittite today. If you go looking for a course saying, I'd like to, to learn Hittite, mm -hmm. You won't be able to go on one, yeah? The, the, they lived amongst, uh, the, the Hebrew speakers lived amongst the people speaking ancient Egyptian. Now, people can, can um, because of the hieroglyphs that there are on, on Egyptian writings, they can interpret the hieroglyphs, but nobody knows how it sounded. Mm, yeah? exactly. um, and we know how ancient Hebrew sounded. Mm -hmm. um, we have a pretty good idea of, of, of how ancient mm -hmm. Hebrew even sounded, because the, 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 the language has been maintained until today, and also when we come to the New Testament, uh, I mean, Aramaic uh, in the Old Testament as well as Hebrew, um, that's been maintained up until today, even, even till today. There are some um, Aramaic communities left, despite all odds. There are some um, Aramaic-speaking communities left in the world. Um, when we come to Greek, um, okay, Greek was at one time a language which covered the whole of, well, a large empire. So was Gothic, later than the Greek. Where's Gothic today? Nowhere. Mm -hmm. Gothic was spoken all over Europe. Mm -hmm. yeah? It was the language of, of, of Italy, Spain, France, Germany. Mm -hmm. Gothic was everywhere. Gdańsk is called Gdańsk because it's where the Goths landed. It comes from Guthia Andia, which is a, the, the Gothic word for Gothic coast. Where's Gothic today? Nobody speaks Gothic today. The only thing we have in Gothic today is a portion of Mark's Gospel. Uh, or rather the full Mark's Gospel and portion of a few other Gospels which are okay. translated by Wolfellus. So, so massive languages have come and gone, mm -hmm. but miraculously the, the languages in which the Bible has been given to us have been maintained so that everybody can look at both mm -hmm. 
the translation in their own language, which came because of bloodshed in the in the in the Reformation period. Mm -hmm. The people who went into this into this Bible, people like Tyndale, William Tyndale. I don't know mm -hmm. if you've heard of him. Of course, we Will, did. William Tyndale didn't actually do the, this this version of the Bible. Mm -hmm. um, he he made the Tyndale Bible, but this and this is the King James Bible. Mm -hmm. But the King James Bible based something like 80% on Tyndale's work. Tyndale was martyred for that. Tyndale was burned alive at the stake by the Roman Catholic Church for this Bible. Yeah? So, so, um, um, and God has used the King James Bible, which was based 80% on Tyndale's work, to hold the English-speaking world together and make it the, the, the one language, even though English-speaking people went around America all over the world, even today you've decided to, to, to come and speak English. Um, the reason why English is important and not German and other things is really down to the, to the way God miraculously used the King James version of the Bible. That was the version of the Bible which historically held together the English language and which made the English language a prime language in the world, mm -hmm. pushing down the French, the Russian, the Spanish, the German into a sort of equal second, third place. Um, and God speaks to people who will read one of the translations in their own language and also back it up maybe with study of the original languages which they can still do, which God has kept in place. God speaks to people that will read the Bible for themselves and do so prayerfully, seeking the truth. So we see that you attach uh, big importance to the Bible. Yes. It's commendable nowadays because, yeah. Well, this is the way that God speaks to people. Yeah. If, if, uh, the God, I mean, that obviously when a person becomes a Christian, they receive the Holy Spirit. And so a certain amount of personal guidance they will receive. Mm -hmm. But the Holy Spirit isn't the only spirit that can speak to people. Yeah? The, the devil is also able to whisper in men's ears. And therefore, everything which, which, we, which comes into our mind and into our heart, we test against the Word of God. Um, it's the benchmark for whether we're receiving lies into our mind or we're receiving the truth. Mm. Yeah? Yes, the Bible gives us discernment. Yeah. Yes. That's true. Yeah, even the book of Proverbs says about it, yes, that uh, it can give us uh, wisdom but also discernment, which is something mm -hmm. deeper. You know? Yeah, that's and, right. Uh, yeah, so uh, we have a lot of a lot in common. And uh, yeah. can you tell us what uh, kind of religion uh, or do you belong to? Or? Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. so, so you don't. Um, uh, sorry, you don't. Um, oh, I forgot the word in English. Excuse me. Uh, don't try to be in any kind of organize, organized no, 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 uh, no, no, no. group. There are no global. blessed organizations. It's Jesus Christ. You have mm -hmm. to assist. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. We only mm -hmm. look to Jesus. We don't look to any saints. Mm -hmm. We don't look to Mary. Mm -hmm. We don't look to St. Mm -hmm. Peter. Mm -hmm. We don't look to the Pope. We don't look to the church. Okay, you can join a church and be part of a church strengthening other believers, but Jesus Christ says where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. So no church, no organization, okay? No man, it says, put not thy, thy trust in princes, nor the son of man in which there's no help. We look only to Jesus. The only place, there's now only one name given under heaven among men by which we must be saved. That's the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ, that's my, that is my faith, is mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. Okay, Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. it says, all things were made by him and for him. Okay, so all, all the things, all, all of the, the creation which happened in six days was done personally by Jesus Christ and for Jesus Christ. Everything in this world is done by and for Jesus Christ. Okay, and even when we see the, the Lord God walking in the garden, that's Jesus Christ. Yeah, Jesus was okay. the master worker, but it was his father actually who, who uh, gave him this um, authority, yeah? and uh, actually uh, yeah, he encouraged him to, to, be, to, to, to create. Yeah. Well, when we talk about God, it says God, God says, let us make man in our image. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. So what is the image of, of God? that we receive as men. What is that? Who, who is that? 
how, because as we know, it says, mm -hmm. Jesus Christ says to the, to the woman at the well, God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. But then again, God says uh, we make man in our image, and that's a physical image. We're a physical image of God. What does that speak about, the physical image of God? What's the physical image of yeah, God? But sometimes when we talk about image, we may also mean the personality, yeah? The traits no, no, we're or, talking about or, actually or, looking or like Adam was made. We have a first Adam and we have a second Adam. But actually, the first should be last and the last should be first. The first Adam, in our time frame, mm -hmm. was the man that was made from the dust of the earth. But he was fashioned according to the fashion of the second Adam. If you put Adam in the garden mm -hmm. and the second Adam, which is Jesus Christ, who after his resurrection goes back to the garden and, look, and, and speaks with the first Adam, where art thou, Adam? Who told thee that thou wast naked? They stand together. You have two men, 33 years old each, each one. Adam created 33 years old, Jesus Christ dying at 33 years old. They look at each other, they could be twin brothers. Except for Jesus, a man of sorrows yeah, and acquainted well, with grief. They, he looks older they, than they he is years. But not in the resurrection terms. Yeah. Yeah? In the resurrection terms, he's restored. Yeah? So, and he's the first fruits of the resurrection, goes back to see the second Adam. Because he's really the, because uh, really the first is the second. The se first shall be last and the last shall be first. Mm -hmm. And Jesus Christ speaks to Adam that he made in his own image. And you can see the image of God, Jesus Christ who is God, eternal, okay, speaking mm -hmm. to Adam. They look like twin brothers. When, when, when God breathes the breath of life into Adam's nostrils, that's a literal, that's, you, have to, you have to trust the Word of God to take that literally. God actually puts his mouth onto the mouth of the man made from dust and breathes life and sentience into, the, into Adam. Jesus Christ, even producing Adam, breathes the breath of life and the divine image into Adam. Okay, Knowing that Adam will sin. Knowing that he himself will have to die. He himself will have to come into this world being born of a baby to be that physical man to live out that life that Adam couldn't live out and to restore the sons of Adam to heaven, to reconciliation with God. And the way that this is done is not by works, but by faith. You have to have faith in Jesus Christ. You have to believe in Jesus Christ as the only name given under heaven by which we must be saved. And this is the name of God. Yeah? When we look at the name of Jesus Christ, we see the name of God because it's Yeshua. Yes, Jesus is Yeshua. Okay? And we have J-E J J at the beginning. This refers to Jehovah. Jesus is identifying himself as Jehovah. Jehovah means... Jehovah will save, yes. Yes, he's the, that is the salvation of Jehovah. Mm -hmm. This is Jehovah himself coming. Excuse me, so do you believe that Jehovah is, uh, the, um, is uh, the name, God of name? Uh, sorry, the name of God. <laughs> Jehovah is the name of God, yeah. and this is the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ is Jehovah. Yeah? Jehovah, he says, before, when, when, when they say to him, mm -hmm. Thou not thirty years of age, hast thou known Abraham? And Jesus Christ says, before Abraham was, I, what does he say? Not I was. He says, before, Je before Abraham was, I am. Mm -hmm. And I am means Jehovah. Jehovah means I am that I am. It's a, a verb of unusual form in Hebrew. And it means I am that I am. Mm -hmm. yeah? He's the great I am, Jehovah, okay, is I am that I am. And he, he refers to himself as, he simply asserts his being in his name, yes, to us. Mm -hmm. I am, yeah? He doesn't have to prove himself, he just asserts mm -hmm. his being. Uh, in this, this uh, part can be a little bit different in our, in our point of view, because for sure we agree with you that there is a salvation only through Jesus Christ, mm. and on this we base yes. our hope. But uh, in this point, uh, probably we will we will we will not agree, because as as you know, uh, Jehovah or Yahweh, however we say it, comes from uh, Hebrew verb shavach, 
to, to become, yes? So there is a, it's like a, so powerful as well that only, only Jehovah can, can bear this, can have this name. Yeah, but yes. Jesus Christ mm -hmm. has that name. Jesus Christ has the name of Jehovah. He says, there, we talk about the name, yeah, in, in the Jews. Yeah, I don't know how much you know about Judaism, but the Jews, they, they don't even like to use the pronunciation of yeah. it, the one that you yeah. just said. They don't even like to take that on their lips. They will pronounce it in a wrong way, so they prefer it not to pronounce it at all. Yeah, they, but also, and if you go to the synagogue now and you worship with Jews, you will hear that they even, they even say, rather than say what you just said, yeah, mm -hmm. they will say, um, they would say Adonai, mm -hmm. Yeah? Yes, or they will say Baruch Hashem Adonai, which is uh, the blessed name of the Lord. Yeah, mm -hmm. they're referring to. They know what they're referring to, mm -hmm. but but from respect, they don't take it onto their unclean lips because they know that they're of unclean lips. They don't want to take upon themselves it's the name of the, the Lord in vain. Tradition. And so, yeah, well, it's more than a tradition. It's a commandment. Thou shalt not take upon thyself the late name of the Lord thy God in vain. So, 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 um, it's um, it's basically um, f for them. Yeah. The name is everything they call, and, and, and even at the time of Christ, they talk about the name. And so we talk about God as the name, yeah, Hashem. Mm -hmm. And um, and this name, yeah, the name, it says in Acts, the only name given, the only name given. And always when we talk about the name of Jesus, it always you have the name in capital letters, because Jesus is the name above all names, mm -hmm. yes? Jesus Christ is the only name given mm -hmm. under heaven among men by which we may be saved, mm -hmm. yeah? And it yeah. says it says that that, Je that Jesus Christ is, is such that God has seen to it that at the name of Jesus every knee shall bow, mm -hmm. which means that that name of Jesus is the divine name, mm -hmm. because you don't bow towards anything that's not God. Yeah? When when John the Revelator tried to bow to the angel, the angel said to him, "See thou do it not, for I am thy fellow servant. Mm -hmm. Fear God." So if we are to bow the knee to any name, that's the name of God. So Jesus Christ is Jehovah. When Thomas was, was saying, I'm not going to believe that Jesus Christ is, is back unless I can place my hand at his wound. Mm -hmm. When Jesus Christ was mm -hmm. returned, was resurrected in, 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 as the first fruits of the resurrection in the, in the new form in which we will all be when we, when we are restored to, to life. Mm -hmm. he, you could still see those wounds because they were marks of his, his work for us, his death and, 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 and his agony for us. Um, and when he appeared to Thomas, Thomas could see the wounds in his hand and in his side. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. So, gospel, yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> Thomas, when he saw Jesus Christ and his wounds, he said, "My Lord and my God." Now, normally, you know, if anything, if an angel, if an angel or any other created being would have had that said to to to, to him, he would say, like the angel in Revelation, "Don't say that about me." Okay. Um, see that you don't do it. Yeah. Some people think that Jesus says something like that when they say to him, good master. And, they, and he says, why call us down me good? There's none good save one that is God. Some people think that, that Jesus is saying something like that then. But what he's not doing, he doesn't say, don't call me good. He says, why call us down me good? You're misusing the term because you don't think I'm God. Yeah? There's only one good and that is God. Can you say I'm God? I don't think so. He's not saying I'm not good. Jesus Christ didn't say, I'm not good. He said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except by me. Mm -hmm. He says to Philip, Philip, knowest thou not, he that has seen me hath seen the Father. Mm -hmm. If you've seen Jesus Christ, you've seen the Father, you don't want to drive distinctions mm -hmm. because it's absolutely anti-biblical to drive distinctions between Jesus Christ yeah, and the Father. But you probably will uh, also agree that when Jesus was here on earth, he, on uh, many occasions, he actually highlighted the fact that his father was greater or higher than him. Yeah? Yes, but that is not so, a, an issue that you need to worry about, unduly. Okay? Un until the time of the resurrection, until the time of the crucifixion, there are certain things that weren't supposed to be known. Had the princes of the world known this, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. Look mm -hmm. up that, look up that text. Which none of the princes of this world knew, for had they known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. 
I think Peter, letter, letter of Peter, refers to this. Yeah, and this is because. Do you suppose that Satan, had he fully known the identity of Jesus Christ, had he fully realised who Jesus Christ was, would have allowed Jesus Christ to become crucified and thereby save the elect? If Jesus Christ, if Jesus Christ had been known to Satan, this is the trick that God played on Satan. Okay. When when one when a person said that the, the Christ the Son of the Living God, Jesus Christ said tell no man okay there were certain things that during his earthly ministry he 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 refused to reveal about himself at that mm -hmm. time and and peter explains that had the prince of this world known this they would not have crucified the lord of glory the prince of this world is satan had satan realized yeah that jesus christ is god himself he would have done anything to stop God from going to the cross for human race. He wouldn't, have, he wouldn't have put into people's heads to shout for Barabbas to be saved. He'd have put into their heads to shout for Jesus to be saved. He wouldn't have stirred up the crowd. Okay? He needed... He thought... He, uh, Satan believed in Ar Arianism. Okay? Satan believed that, that, that Jesus Christ was some kind of created being, which is why he allowed him to get why he allowed him to be to be um, crucified because he he knew that if it was just a created being being, uh, being crucified that nothing bad would come of it yeah mm -hmm. had he realized who Jesus Christ was he never would have allowed the crowd or stirred up the crowd to, to crucify Jesus Christ it says had the princes of the world known this they would not have crucified the Lord of glory you have to understand that verse have to find it and understand that verse, what that means. What can you, what, where, where is it written? I'll show you. Mm. I'll have to, I'll use the concordance to, uh, mm -hmm. to find it more, more easily, but I think it's in Peter. One Corinthians two verse eight. Sorry, I got it wrong, wrong, wrong place. I'm not as fresh as I should be with remembering where everything is. Oh, it's it's just natural, yes. And we speak the, the wisdom of God in a mystery, even the hidden wisdom, which God ordained before the world unto our glory, which none of this princes of this world knew, for if they had known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. Mm -hmm. Okay? We can maybe read from uh, our version of the Bible, which is actually maybe more uh, modern. Well, I'd rather read from the, the, from the one that yeah, God has used, you know. Yeah, sometimes you know it's good to compare different uh, translations. Well, okay, in that case, if you're going to do that, I'll go and get the Greek one. <laughs> Later, I'm, I'm, I, I only know enough Hebrew to go through a service. Uh -huh, if, okay. if I if I worship with Jews, then I, I will go through the service uh -huh, okay. in Hebrew, but only if it's got okay. uh, the the transcript. Uh -huh. 
And so, by the uh, way, sir, do you come from the UK or? Yes, UK, yes. Because I have just uh, arrived from the UK. I have was you? in Kent, yeah. I was in Kent to visit my friends. Uh, Sorry, where? Kent. Oh, Kent. Kent. Yeah. Actually, okay. Mainstone and this area of, of England. Okay. Which I enjoyed very much. Anyway, um, maybe I'll read it uh, from this book, uh, our Bible. This wisdom, not one of the rulers of this system of things, came to know, for if they had known it, they would not have impaled the glorious Lord. Actually, it's good to read the whole context, yes, because sometimes when we just read uh, one verse, um, cut <laughs> from, from uh, the, the whole, in context, yeah, it's it's uh, it may um, it may may uh, make it difficult to, to understand. You see, this is the uh, this is the this has got this is imbued with uh, mm -hmm. with um, theology um, of uh, of the Watchtower Tract and Bible Organization. That, that what you're reading there is imbued with with uh, theology, which has made it tendential and has gone far away from the Greek original. Mm -hmm. Okay. Why do you think so? Well, because uh, because you've for a start you've you've not translated um, F Stavrosan. Stavros. F Stavrosan. Yes. Yeah, this is Stavros. the cross. Yeah. The cross. Stavros is uh, the tail, yeah, without the bar, actually, in original Greek language. No, I don't believe that. Yeah. I think or that's the Sometimes uh, you know. Uh, yes, it's a well, we we uh, um, do not study Greek, but uh, you know. Uh, we have also encyclopedias or dictionaries yeah. to compare because it's good to compare. Yeah, uh, some, sometimes uh, also the manuscripts which are available, and uh, in this very verse and okay. also in some other verses, uh, okay. where, um, there is now, this translation uh, in pale or. Pale. Now let me see this, please. Yeah. Yeah. Right, th this version says this. Okay. Um, but we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery, even the hidden wisdom which God ordained before the world unto our glory, which none of the princes of this world knew, for if they had known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. Which is a good translation of the Greek, okay? The Greek says, Ala la lumen sophian theo en mysterion tin apokekrimenin in proorisen of theos proton en eonon is doxan imon in odis ton archonton tos eonos tutu eknoken egar eknosan uk anton kirion tis doxis estaurosan mm -hmm. okay which is pretty much the same as what I just read in English and this, this now, estauron sorry to yes. disturb you or estauros Cruci crucified yeah you know, uh, it uh, really means, th this is verb, but it comes from the uh, noun Stauros. Stauros means, you know, the bar. But we know sorry, what the, Romans the did. We know what Romans did and to people. Actually, I don't know if you heard, but in ancient times, uh, it was very uh, popular, I don't know if it's the right word, to, uh, for example, to, to kill people when they uh, proved to be, I don't know, uh, murderers or, or uh, some uh, people who disobeyed the law to uh, hang them on, on such a tree. So it was even before Jesus came to earth. Okay. Do you believe that Jesus had nails placed through his hands and his feet? Yes. And, and placed into wood at the other end? I'm sorry? And put into wood at the other end, through his hands and feet and through into wood. Mm -hmm. If the Bible says so, we do believe. <laughs> well, does the Bible say so, in your opinion? You're saying if the Bible says so, you believe yes, it. Yes. So what does so what does the Bible say? The Bible says that he had wounds. Yeah. Yes. Here. And and where else did he have wound? In his ankles. Yeah? Yes. And where else? And in in the um, a stomach. Yes. In his in his side here. Yeah, in yes. his side. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now who else had a wound in their side? Who else? Yes. The wound in the side is, is very important. I mean, the, it says, A curse it is everyone that hangeth on a tree. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in order to take God's curse for us, Jesus Christ had to be hung upon a tree, which is a wooden structure. In this case, you don't need to have a physical tree. It can be a, a dead tree. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It doesn't matter what the shape of it was. Okay, in fact, it doesn't matter. Because, because it is a tree, mm -hmm. okay, 
whether it is a wooden cross, okay? But in any event, you know that there was a sign put on it saying in three languages, the king of the Jews. Mm -hmm. Okay, That's so in, an, in any event, we're not just talking about a pole here, yeah. all right? Mm -hmm. So, and, and, and it had some structure, some way in which his feet and his hands could be hung on it, and it was made from wood, right? Either way, whether it's a cross or whether it's a T-bar mm -hmm. or what the, what the shape of it is, is mm -hmm. actually completely irrelevant. Because yeah. it only tends to idolatry yes. when people, exactly. when people, exactly. when people try what, to produce yeah, these things. That's what I okay? was going to say. <laughs> but in any <laughs> event... Many people worship crosses. Yeah? Yeah. yeah, well we don't want to do that. Yeah. Okay? They don't, because this is, anything made of hands is not the way to, to, to mm -hmm. worship mm -hmm. God. So we'll, let's put that aside as an irrelevance, okay? And let's just look at this. It says, we speak God's wisdom in a sacred secret. Well, It says, we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery, even the hidden wisdom. Mm, the same meaning. <laughs> yes, but it's been badly paraphrased. I'm sorry. Which God foreordained before, this, uh, before the system of things. They, why, why translate the world as system of things? Why has that been translated differently? It doesn't say of things. It doesn't say systems of things. It says aeonos. It's, it's not, this is not uh, um, the, before the eons, it's, it says. You know, it, it doesn't mean system of things. Okay, that's, uh, that's already somebody placing theology onto the word of God. It says we should be right, right dividers of the word of truth. Okay? This is, you, you need to get a, a better translation, one that's more faithful. Will you agree that the, the form in which we received the Bible, the, the Textus Receptus, in, in the original languages, okay, that that is authoritative? Mm -hmm. if, you, if you don't know yourself how to make the difference between this Bible and this Bible, okay, and then take it back to what's here, okay, then intelligent people like you should start learning it. Yes, we do believe. But uh, at the same time, uh, please notice that uh, Jehovah's Witnesses watched our society. Let's well, I'm a Jehovah's Witness. I witness to Jehovah. But so, I have nothing to do with Watchtower so, and never have been, uh, never will be. Uh, have you ever been a witness? I am a witness. But have you ever been a Jehovah's Witness? I am a witness of Jehovah. Yeah, it says, ye are my witnesses, is, and I'm a if witness you in of Jehovah. the past belong to the organization, we do. Never, belong. never. I don't yeah, believe I'm in organizations. Curious. I don't believe in organizations. I witness direct for Jehovah, mm -hmm. okay? So, uh, in and that's past, Jesus Christ. In the past, before um, Watchtower Society decided to translate, to, to prepare new world translation, mm -hmm. they had been using a King James version. Yes. In Poland, we used the Biblia Tysiąclecia. Well, that's a very bad translation. Uh, and, and it was the and only available. <laughs> and and, uh, some, and we, we, uh, we came to the same conclusions. Uh, well, uh, we've, we, did the, we did a retranslation of the Biblia Gdańska. Mm -hmm. Some brethren of mine, also Christians, and, and, mm -hmm. and uh, I support and it in a tiny way. It is very hard to understand. It, well, that's it, why it we redid it. In, we, we redid it. We redid it yeah. in, 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 uh, in English. Sophie, um, can you get one of those? Is there a spare copy of the, of the New Testament that we did? I'd have to pull it out, but I'll give you one because this is not very good. Um, in fact, w I have to say that we took a, we took an awful lot of trouble over 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 the, these. In fact, we all sat around in a room and went through Corinthians, yeah. Mm -hmm. And we all sat there, and we all and I was going through the the, the the Greek as well, and we all sat and we looked at it and we compared it how to make sure that when we put the Gdańsk, Biblia Gdańsk into new Polish, that we didn't lose anything that was here in the original, because there's more than one way to do it. So then you refer back to the original and you see which is, which is a fair, and you pour over it. I mean, I've actually been involved in, in producing Bible translations that have been published. So I know all about that. Yeah? Yeah. Um, but you must be careful. This is, this is the text. This is what is holy. Okay? You can't just stick your theology on it. Yeah? This is holy, okay, and, and, and you must not add to it or detract from it. This brings a curse from God. Yeah? We are aware of that. 
error. With, that's why we attach uh, really huge importance to the correct translation. Right? Yes. I suggest what you do, mm -hmm. okay, this has obviously got a lot of paraphrase in it, taking away from this. May I humbly suggest, I don't want to tell you what to do because it should be a leading from God, but maybe God led you here, that you get a proper original Textus Receptus in New Testament Koine Greek, okay? That you get yourself a course of New Testament Koine Greek, one that's available academically even to people that don't even make any, any profession of being believers because at least you know that this is without any tendency one way or another, okay? Learn enough Greek. You've learned English, you can learn Greek, okay? Um, to be able to make these decisions for yourself and see whether you're not being led up a gum tree by that version. You can't do it perhaps for Hebrew, and that's a big, a big work to do, to do it for Hebrew, but the important doctrines where you will differ from most Christians, okay, are New Testament doctrines. But actually we have access to this encyclopedias and, you know, the old uh, versions. Uh, encyclopedias are written by men. I'm talking about, uh, I'm talking about this that I hold in my hand. Is Greek the Greek version. New Testament yeah, we, okay? But this is available. Yeah? Yes. We don't have to. Actually, yeah, we, we may we may do it, but we don't, See it for not yourself. every one of us has don't to do it to trust. understand the Bible. Don't well. put your trust in anybody else. If you no, not if you're stupid. If 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 God has given you an IQ of eighty or ninety or maybe even a hundred, um, then of course He doesn't expect you to do that. But that's that's not the person I perceive I'm talking to. You wouldn't be speaking to me in English now if that was you. Okay, where much is given, much will be required. I don't want to tell you what to do. God, God will do that to you. But, um, but my suggestion is that you look into these things. Okay, you have understood the problem with what Watchtower pr produces. If you don't mind my saying so, I know that this will be hard for you to take. Well, the problem is it contains a lot of truth, and it contains a lot of truth which has been ignored by many churches, especially people like the Roman Catholic Church. And therefore, when you go into Watchtower, you think, I've been given a lot of truth here. And probably you have. But the problem is that with lies and error, you have to wrap it up in quite a lot of truth in order for the, the poison to work. And if anybody tells you that Jesus Christ is not God, you have to look the Bible yourself. Actually, this is the main teaching of the Roman Catholic Church, that Jesus is the God. Yeah, yeah Jesus Christ is God. Yeah. And the, the and, God, yeah. And just, and, That's and, why they believe in Trinity. Well, the other Trinity yeah. is the Trinity is, is just a way of, 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 of making... Tr the Trinity is a doctrine, okay, which is, a, is, is simply a convenient way of um, making all of the verses that refer to Christ in the Bible add up in a non-contradictory way. If you, if, you take, if you take any other version, if you take Arianism or Modalism, then you're going to fall foul of certain verse, verses. So the way in which Catholics understand the Trinity in writing silly Masonic symbols like a triangle with an eye in the middle is, is, is not good, okay? Mm -hmm. But that Jesus Christ is God, you can read in the Bible. Okay, when, when Thomas says to Jesus Christ, and agree, my Lord in, and my and God... we agree with you, because in uh, one way, we, even the Bible in the Gospel of John says that Jesus is God, mm. but, but uh, other translations, uh, they put it, or godly, godly mm. because he has exactly the same qualities, and he's also perfect, yeah? He was like the reflection of his Father. But you couldn't say that you and your son are exactly the same person, yeah? Well, I hope I don't roll around on the ground, uh, sort of, uh, yeah, well, yeah. So this is uh, the same story with uh, Jehovah God and his son, Jesus Christ. They have exactly the same qualities because of the period of time they spent together, yeah. yeah? But they are Jehovah. They are all Jehovah. Jesus Christ does not refer to the Father as Jehovah, as in he's Jehovah and I'm not. Mm -hmm. Show me one place where Jesus Christ speaks of the Father as Jehovah. Show me one place where Jesus Christ says to the, that the Father is Jehovah. You've inferred that the Father is Jehovah. Jesus Christ is Jehovah. Now, he speaks the of the Father. I, uh, he yeah, speaks of the Father able, as. But we can prepare maybe next time. Uh, okay. To, to, you to go show ahead. You show me if you can show me one one place where Jesus Christ refers to the Father as not the Father but as Jehovah. 
He doesn't do so for a very good reason that he is Jehovah. He doesn't say, speak to my father who is Jehovah. He is Jehovah. Jesus Christ is Jehovah. But actually when he uh, taught his apostles, his uh, close disciples, how to pray. Yes, he, he says, our father, yeah, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Yeah. Yes. So how can we uh, you know, glorify God's name if we don't use it? If we don't uh, know exactly. it? Exactly. Yeah. But, when, but, but when, when you're baptized, okay, mm -hmm. it says, what does it say? Does it say baptizing them in the, the names? of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit? Does it say the names or does it say baptizing them in the name, name. of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit? So that one name refers. Yeah. We have one name. One name. Verse, yeah. Yes. There's one name. The Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit are all Jehovah. Mm -hmm. Okay? The name, that's why it doesn't say the names. It says baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. It's one name. Mm -hmm. There's Let one name. Let your name be sanctified, yeah? It's one of the first... Uh, Yes, hallowed right, be thy name. Yes. Yes. So, so, thy yes. kingdom our, come. Our, thy kingdom so come. This, but this but whose kingdom is it? But who is king? Oh, who is king? Good question. <laughs> whose kingdom is it? It says all things are by him and for him. Jesus Christ. Colossians. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you know that Jesus will reign. You know that in Jesus God's Christ. Kingdom. Yeah, in kingdom. it's his kingdom. He reigns. Mm. Do you believe that he is reigning right now, or he will reign in the future? You, uh, I would say this: that there are different things, that, uh, there are different ways in which God is sovereign. Okay, different yes. ways in which God yeah, is sovereign. We, we agree with you. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, at the current time, of course, God has ordained everything, mm -hmm. but certainly He's given a lease to the devil to run certain things according to the way that He sees fit. But still Jesus Christ says that, two, that a sparrow can't fall from the sky without my Father. And in this context, actually, even in this Lord's Prayer, it says, let your kingdom come. So it must be the matter of the future, uh, right? Yeah, well, we're talking about, when we're talking about mm -hmm. um, future events, First of all, there's a lot of prophecy. You have prophecy in Ezekiel, Daniel, you have Joel, you have, well, you've got prophets all over the Old Testament. You have prophecy through the Gospels that Jesus Christ speaks of himself about what's coming at the end times. And you have, of course, more than perhaps anything else, you have speaking about things which are about to happen. Um, the book of Revelation it speaks about things which are now about to happen. So, um, um, there's a lot of prophecy. It isn't always easy to understand. And this is why Christians must not follow the, the teaching of any individual organization like clones. They must not do that. Because nobody has the ability to interpret prophecy perfectly. Jehovah's Witnesses, as they call themselves, okay, the, the, the Watchtower Tract and Bible Organization made two false prophecies regarding the end of the world in their history. And you know that... It's something new for us. <laughs> yes, well, you need to look at it. Look it up on Wiki no, Wikipedia. You know, we don't make prophecies, we only... No, but Russell, Charles Taze Russell, Charles Taze Russell made um, um, prophecies re regarding the time at which the, the world would end. Okay, find it in Wikipedia. Okay, and these were these were adopted and taken on board by um, by, by by the organisation. Okay, now a week ago, yesterday, so eight days ago, an evangelical pastor, a Southern Baptist called Harold Camping predicted based on scriptural mathematics as he saw them that the rapture of the church would take place last Saturday yeah. at mm -hmm. six o'clock. I was, I was in the UK at the, at the time and I heard about it too. Yeah. So yeah. now of course it could have been that he was right. I don't take, I didn't believe he was right because it says no man knoweth the time. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this is one case so actually when the, even, even Jesus Christ submits to the Father and says even I don't know it mm -hmm. but only the Father. Okay. Only even. Jehovah. So no, he didn't say that. He said the Father. Oh, the father. He is Jehovah. He is Jehovah, <laughs> so but he's he not the Father. Jehovah knows. <laughs> Jehovah, no, Je <laughs> he may know or not. Jehovah the Father. <laughs> Jehovah the Father knows. Jehovah the Son does not know. They're all Jehovah. Okay. So, um, 
this is the problem that I have with Muslims as well. They, they don't understand when I tell them Allah. They say, you don't believe in Allah. I say, I do believe in Allah. And he came and he died on a cross for me. Yeah, and they say, well, that's impossible. Allah can't be a human being. And I say to them, says who? If he wants to be, he can be, right? You're going to tell him he can't do what he wants in his world? They can't get their heads around the fact that Jesus Christ, that mm -hmm. God loved us so much that he became flesh and dwelt among us. Mm -hmm. It yeah. says at anyway. the beginning of John, he, and you've translated this and that completely wrong. It's anyway, completely, no, we'll what first anyway, chapter we'll of John is completely we'll different to this, but it says, um, but just so that you know what, what yeah. John 1 really says and know what it says in that version, mm -hmm. okay? It says, in the beginning, in Arche in Logos, at the beginning was the Word, yeah. Ke Logos in Proston Theon, and the Word was with God, Ke Theos in Logos, and God was the Word. Okay, it doesn't say the Word was a God, it also doesn't say. Where is it written? In John? The first words yeah. of John? Yes, mm -hmm. of John's. Yeah, yeah, I, I, John's I, I thought you were quoting it. It doesn't say the Word was a God. Because that would be possible if the word order were different in Greek. I'll show you in a minute what the word order is. I've just quoted it to you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, from memory. The, it's like um, language. Uh, mm -hmm. language so, you know, maybe mm -hmm. there are these little details in which we differ, but uh, can we maybe, because we don't want to take too much of your time. And the weather, <laughs> and the weather the is very nice, yeah. Okay, well, you're in, the, you're in the sun at least. Okay. We're all in the sun, we, so it's not bad, mind. is it? Anyway, uh, maybe I will ask you the final question because you know it's quite interesting to talk maybe about, about it some other time if you wish. But I don't believe you will come back. Why? Because always, when when um, when when Jehovah's Witnesses, as they call themselves, have spoken with me, mm -hmm. they have reported it to Kingdom Hall, mm -hmm. and when when they know that they have to do with a true Jehovah's Witness, a witness of Christ Jehovah they will not allow them to come back. Your ministers and elders will not allow you, if you tell them about this, this discussion, they will dissuade you from coming and seeing me again. That always happens. You know, if you agree to uh, see us again, we will come. All right, you can come next Sunday. Okay. okay. But I don't believe you will come. <laughs> you may be surprised. <laughs> what, what, what's the convenient time for you? You, so can, come, you can come like, like now at midday if you like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is, uh, Okay. Anyway, what's your hope for the future? Because as I said, we may differ. My hope for the future is this. Jesus Christ, yeah. who saved me from my sins by his grace, on the basis of mm -hmm. my calling on him in faith and repentance, okay? Mm -hmm. On the basis of the fact that he's done everything for me, I don't need to worry about works. Mm -hmm. Any works that I do are based on gratitude, okay? And they're just filthy rags. Um, but we are sti still sinful, okay. yes? So we, uh, yes, we are still we, sinful. We, we do not uh, actually benefit fully but when, from but it his ransom sacrifice. But when, 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 when we see him, it says when we see him, we should be like him. We should be changed in the, trim, tr in the twinkling of an eye. So I believe the future hope for me will be that the church will be raptured and that at, at that point I'll be made perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay? And is it also the future for uh, all the whole earth? Or is no, whole this world, is for those, who, whole... for those who have being of an age where they can do so, okay, at the time when he comes and takes his church, those being of an age where they can be, have been expected to do so, and God is the judge, it says, Abraham says, you're not the judge of all the earth, do right, so God knows people's hearts, okay. Um, those and what who... about the conditions here on earth, do you think they will change or not? Well, when, after the, after the, after the, uh, the rapture, they will bring in the tribulation, probably. But probably what will happen is that um, a, a peace will be signed with between the United Nations and Israel, which will last for seven years. The first three and a half years of those seven years will be seven seal judgments. 144,000 Jewish witnesses will, will, will spread out into the world and there will be a large harvest of souls coming to Christ after the rapture. Um, but they will become saints, they will be tribulation saints, so the Antichrist will appear, mm -hmm. will in insist on them marking themselves with the mark of the beast, and when they don't do that, they will be slain. There will be wars, there will be a massive earthquake, the, the moon will turn to blood, the, 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 the people will say to, to the mountains, cover us, they will say to rocks, fall on us, that they might escape the wrath of the Lamb. That will happen about two years into tribulation. And, um, and then after that there will be more 
more and more um, for those who are not taken at the time of the, of the rapture, there will be more and more difficulty until the glorious appearing when, when Jesus Christ will come with, the, with those he took at the rapture and also those that, would, that died during the, the uh, time of tribulation will, will, will then be resurrected. And Christ will reign for a thousand years on the earth. And then at the end of those thousand years there will be a new heaven and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness and it will appear and then this earth will be destroyed, brought to a close, and uh, and uh, and there will be, and there will be a new heaven and a new earth, and we will dwell forever with the Lord in the new heaven and the new earth. Okay, so because we uh, believe in what the Bible says, actually it it is a very good news, yes, because mm. uh, nowadays we live uh, in a world which is torn by wars, and, uh, famine. Crisis actually in uh, different aspects of life. And exactly what Jesus said would happen, but the yeah. end is not yet. Yeah, but uh, but we're very we're now we hope yes that yeah. actually uh, the paradise uh, that was created at the very beginning it will be restored. Yes. Oh, even better, much better. Mm. Do you do you know that actually, human it was beings was created only in very small parts? Yes, of the world, the Garden of Eden. Yeah, mm. so. Uh, well, at that, ti at that time, the, the world didn't look like it looks now. Uh, at the time of a person called Peleg, who was about the, the, well, it was about the, the 14th generation, I think, was, it was Peleg from, from, from Adam. The world was actually divided up. That's why he was called Peleg. Peleg means division. So uh, this happened after the flood and after the floods assuaged. There was then a division of, of, of the world uh, and, and continents moved around. That all, all of the earth had been in one place. You read this in, in, in the beginning in Genesis. Yeah. And, and it wasn't that people, you know, that it was in different places like it is now, where you've got mm -hmm. the Americas we have and different the. Different continents, yes. So it was not the, the way that God created it. Yeah, so, so it moved around very, very quickly. So obviously that would have been with an awful lot of heat and seismic reactions. So a lot of people, but then it was a way of making sure that, that human beings would, would, would colonize everywhere. Uh, because they had to, to, to be completely on the run and escaping the whole time. They'd been sent away from the Tower of Babel because they insisted on living urbanized in one place, speaking one language, and they would have destroyed themselves within about a hundred years of doing that. We never would have come to, the, to, to those so many years of history where there have been so many souls. and Even though it says that there's a narrow way to salvation, yeah, still you have to remember that God promised Abraham that his seed would be like the stars in the sky, that you can't number them. And even though many people have, have been lost and wasted, many souls have rejected God even till the grave, and they will not be restored. Okay? Nevertheless, heaven will be an amazing sight. Yeah? Multitude that no man can number. You have one level of, 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 uh, of servant, the Jews. Okay, the 144,000. We're not Jews. I'm, I'm not Jewish myself. I like to go and to be among Jews, but I'm afraid I'm not Jewish myself. Um, God didn't want to You're make me... You're of the British origin. Yeah, yeah. yes. Born, born in the Great Britain. Yes, well, we, uh, as far as I know, I'm, I'm, I, uh, you know, them, as far as I know, I'm not Jewish. It may well be <laughs> maybe, God, maybe God, somewhere God knows, God knows these things better than we do. He knows yeah. where his people are. But, but, mm. but, you know, of the 12 tribes, you know, 10 were lost. Um, God knows where they are, um, and it says that the 144,000 evangelists as, as 12,000 from each of the Jewish tribes. Yeah. So, so, um, so, um, and then beyond them, you've got the multitude that no man could number. Those are the people that, through these evangelists, through these Jewish evangelists, finally, when the Jews convert to to, to Jesus Christ, then they'll be leading us. Yeah. For ever since Christians have been been, been pagan, well, if you, if you want, yeah, we've we led can, the. We can dwell more on this subject uh, next time. Next okay. Time, uh, when, when she comes, maybe. Uh, next. Uh, so, Sunday. what are your names? Sorry. My name is Kasia. Kasia. Kate. Kate. And this Tamara. is Tamara. Tamara. Okay, so it's like Russian name? David. David. Nice yes. to meet you. Then. Like King David. Yes. yes. But, uh, <laughs> anyway, how do you find living in Poland in Warsaw? Looks nice. So when the sun shines, it's nice, you know. It, in the um, sunshine, yeah. but when it's not so yeah. shiny. It's well, it's not, not, not this nice during the year mainly. But, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. exactly. So for how long have you been here? Oh, well, 20 years. Oh, 
but not always here. I've been in Russia, in Germany, things like that. Uh -huh. I'm an accountant. Okay. So we're in the same club. <laughs> yeah, you're also an accountant. Yes. Where do you work? I work in the accountant office. Uh, bookkeeping. Bookkeeping. Okay. Yes. Right. Yes. Right, so nice. rather is small companies like small entrepreneur, and we take care of small. Okay, marketing. good. Okay, well, if you need an order, you know where to come. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't say that on a Sunday, should I? But, uh, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> and where do you come from, England, exactly? Do you know Hemel Hempstead? Of course, very close to London. Yes. Uh, I was in High Wycombe. Also, okay, right. Uh, not far, okay. I think it's about right. 30 miles or so. Right. Okay, so I know well, this area. In I fact, been to have you been to your Kingdom Hall in Hemel Hempstead? No, no okay. I was uh, in the Kingdom Hall in Kent in Maidstone. Yeah. Because uh, I was there on Thursday and on Sunday when we had okay. meetings. So well, I met some new after I was converted and God called me to Himself and gave me a lot of good teaching. Um, because I just live around the, the corner, practically, from Kingdom Hall in Hemel Hempstead, that, that, you know, it wasn't long before, before um, we were visited by Watchtower people. And always my parents were not particularly interested. I'm, you know, I, th I think my father is close, my mother is, is, is a believer in Jesus Christ. I hope that she, you know, she's saved. But, um, it's, it's, she's, I, I think she's possibly a little bit weak in the faith, but, uh, but she has faith in Jesus Christ. And uh, they used to come and my parents used to not talk to them. And of course that meant that they would come back again at regular intervals. So when I invited them in and then went through biblical truth with them, yeah, they were soon told Oh, you mustn't go back to that person. Shake the dust from off thy feet. Yeah? Because the ministers were afraid and the elders were afraid that they would lose witnesses. Okay? Well, and, actually, and the, you know, we talk okay. to people and, who are willing to talk to us. Yes. yes. Well, the thing is that I believe that God will prevail. I believe that Jesus Christ will prevail. Mm -hmm. you, my one thing for you is not to look at an organization, not to worry about an organization, even if they were to disfellowship you. The important thing is, Jesus Christ will bear you up. You know, the relationship between you as a human being mm -hmm. and Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. Jehovah the Son, the only name given among seven by which we must be saved. Mm -hmm. That's the most important thing for you. If you want to make the rapture... But the thing is also that you know, Jehovah is an organized God, the God of order, yes. how he describes himself. And he knows his order. And also, uh, you know, uh, throughout the ages, the ages or years, he had an organization, earthly one, and uh, the heavenly no, one. He's never had but an the, earthly organization. The, so it is quite important to, to find. He has never had an earthly organization. And, would, and do you believe that Satan uh, has an organization or not? Oh, he has almost every organization that there is. So do you think that God hasn't? Satan has. He doesn't need it. He's organized himself. He doesn't need a, 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 a human organization. But he wants his worshippers to be organized. Where does it say that? It says, they that worship equipped. them. No way that they that worship me shall worship me in spirit and in truth. He doesn't say organized. He doesn't say with somebody else over them telling them how many houses they have to go to. But, well, even in a family, you need a, a kind of organization. Even in a small family, when, when it's a, there's a couple and uh, some kids, like in your family, yeah? Without it, it would be hard well, to... Well, I don't do have an awful lot of organization here. That's why I was able to, to allow you, you know, to, to come and speak with me about the Bible. If I had everything organized, then I would know what I was doing in the next hour, and you wouldn't have a, I wouldn't have had a space left for you, would I? But, well, uh, we, but we, I don't... We appreciate you know. that you actually invited us in, but... Uh, I let, we, I let we, God we lead me, you know? I let God well. lead me. Yeah, but we respect people's beliefs, and if someone doesn't want to talk with us, well, what can we do about it, yeah? So, uh, I don't believe that you will come back, but if you do, you'll be welcome to come and speak more, okay? okay. I never have a problem with speaking to people, yeah? If I can't mm -hmm. defend my, my views from the Bible, well, then I have to change them. Um, we are also open-minded people, so yeah, I think we have a lot in common, as I said at the very okay. beginning. <laughs> the, problem, the problem that I have as well, another problem that I've had with, with people from Watchtower in the past is this. Even, and this happened to me in Berlin, even when I was able, and the lady really reminded me of you. She was the same age, she was the same kind of uh, 
um, well, she, she she even looked a bit like you. She had a, yeah, she was uh, similar in in, in, I've never in, in lived even. In no, well, she, that girl would be old now, so don't. She wouldn't be the. She was the same oh, okay. age as you at that okay. time. But okay. I'm I'm going back twenty years, um, and she said. She said, um, even though I can see that what you're telling me is true, I cannot leave the Jehovah's Witnesses because I've done so much towards my salvation. I've, er I've done so much to earn my salvation, I just can't bring myself to turn my back on the works that I've done. <laughs> and know, that is, that's the, a that's the human psychology. So, so well, this is know, it. No one forces but, anyone but be in aware of the way that Satan uses human psychology. The way Satan uses human psychology. Human beings are very bound up with their deserving, their works. They want to make it to heaven under their own, under their own works. They don't like it being simply given to them as a gift for believing the truth. Okay? And not doing nothing more than just simply believe, which everyone has free will to do. We don't really have free will to be good because we can't be good. We're, we remain evil. But we do have free will when it comes to faith, to be able to believe this or believe that. Yeah? Choose ye this day whom, whom is serving. Jesus Christ exactly. commands people to believe, so they can so, believe if so they you want know, to. Sometimes uh, Catholic people or some other um, religious people, they are amazed that, for example, in our organization, even if uh, uh, families have kids, have children, they decide for themselves. They are not baptized as little ones, yes? Hmm. So they can get to know the Bible first yes. and then decide. Yeah. So this is their own decision. Yes, but we also do know that, that if, if, if the children were to decide against that it, there's an awful lot of peer pressure placed in Jehovah's Witness communities. There's a, lot of peer, uh, there's a lot of pressure placed on children who are brought up in Jehovah's Witness families. It's not like you can simply turn your back on it and not suffer any kind of consequences. Some, some people from the outside, they are prejudiced against us. So maybe it may happen at school or even in the kindergarten. Because, for example, in Poland, the main religion is Catholic religion. Yeah. So some, or, well, you not know, only Jehovah's Witnesses you, are prejudiced. My, my daughter... My daughter, when she goes to school and she doesn't want to take part in, in, um, in, in you know, Mary worship and, and, mm -hmm. uh, and, and uh, putting on a silly white dress and taking communion when she shouldn't be taking it, mm -hmm. okay, do you know what they call her for that? Do you have a No, they call her the Antichrist. A little girl of 10 years old has to be called the Antichrist. So you see, it's okay? not only about us. You know? So don't go thinking you're the only ones that have to take no. persecution. It says all they that will no, live godly in Christ so. Jesus shall suffer persecution. If you want to live godly in Christ Jesus, you will suffer persecution. You have to be ready for that. But the, 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 the important thing is that the focus, where's the focus? In Christ Jesus. In Christ Jesus. I really want, would want to impress on you one thing. Believe in Jesus Christ, you should be saved, okay? Don't put any qualifications on Jesus Christ. And if somebody wants to qualify him, say he's something less than the, than the absolute greatest. But then, Jesus then, also uh, actually encouraged his uh, followers to imitate him. Yes. Right? Not only believe in him, yes. because belief is something uh, very deep. And so did Paul. He said, be followers of me as I am of Christ. Yeah. But, but, so but as far as someone imitates Jesus, we can imitate uh, even imperfect people, yeah? like, like yes, Paul was. Yes, and children should imitate their parents, yeah. okay, if, if they have godly parents. Mm -hmm. uh, parents who go to work should imitate their masters if their masters are godly. Yeah? So, you know, there's a lot of imitation that goes on and, and following Jesus after is, people. But the perfect model to imitate, and but that's why we always concentrate on but, we're not, but we don't get saved by imitating. We don't get saved by imitating. We get saved by believing, yes? Read John, read Romans, you'll see it clearly. We, we're, these things are written that you might believe and that by believing you may be saved, may, may be saved in, in the name of Jesus Christ, okay? Don't let anybody put any qualifications on Jesus Christ that make him l anything less than the one, the only one that you need to look to for salvation. You don't need to look anywhere else but Jesus Christ, okay? It's just... Jesus Christ. We only preach Jesus Christ and Him crucified. Okay? Nothing else. No other distractions. No organization. No works. No visiting plans. No hymns in a little hymn book. No, nothing else. Just Jesus Christ. Okay? That's where you need to look. Jesus Christ. Nothing else. He's sufficient. With what you said, there comes another, another subject, uh, quite interesting. What about works, then? Works are, yes, works are a, th a thank you to Jesus, knowing that you're saved already from Him. So, 
if if we can come next Sunday, mm -hmm. it will be our pleasure. Okay, if you're allowed to come, then come. <laughs> so you're not buying. Yeah. <laughs> Thank no you. Thank you for <laughs> we'll see that when we'll. I'll, I'll, I'll believe that when I see you. <laughs> okay. Okay. Because okay. I because before it's never worked that way. Okay. 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 Yes. But but you make sure you tell. You tell, course, you tell your minister, secret. you tell your elders, secret. okay? <laughs> you can tell your yeah, elders and see what they say. Yeah. Yeah, you, no you tell your elders and your, mini and your minister, tell them that, uh, that I'm talking what I've said to you, mm -hmm. okay? If he lets you come back, I shall be surprised. So wish you a nice afternoon. You too. With your family. It was, it was very nice to, really nice talking to you. Okay, so. would you like...